and a pinning ceremony took place to honor Vietnam War era veterans for their time spent serving our country. I was there and got the chance to listen to some of their stories. One by one, a pin was placed. It felt like I was pinning my father, it felt like I was pinning my uncle. Although it's small, it holds a lot of meaning, as some of these veterans haven't had the easiest path. When I came home, I was pushed out of line at the Seattle Tacoma Airport and called a baby killer. Their sacrifice may not have been recognized back then, but now they're getting the recognition they deserve. Our young people need to hear your stories. During the war, the U.S. lost more than 50,000 soldiers. I know about three or four here that didn't make a bag. We too often find ourselves assuming that life goes on as normal as normal. We forget about the fact that there's been a cost for this great country. To get through the tough times, vets lean on one another. It's always good talking to other guys. And maybe even a furry companion. He senses anxiety and uh, meltdowns. If, I, if he feels anxiety, if he senses anxiety, he'll come over and nuzzle me. I never thought I would get so attached to a dog. A pinning ceremony acknowledging veterans who served during the Vietnam War. It's nice to be recognized. In Jackson, Amaya Kaznicki, News 10. Tomorrow is National Vietnam War Veterans Day. More than 400,000 Michigan servicemen and women served during the Vietnam War era. A brisk night in mid-Michigan coming up. Andy will tell us if you'll need a heavy coat or if you can break out the lighter jacket this holiday weekend. Also ahead, we'll tell you which mid-Michigan party store sold a million-dollar winner. You're watching News 10 at 10.